Hey, good afternoon, Rebecca. Colin Kimball here with Alderman Chevy, Buick GMC in Rutland, Vermont, Vermont's favorite car dealership. We appreciate your inquiry on this beautiful SUV. Very excited I get to show you this thing today. Very, very special vehicle we have. Now this is our 2023 GMC Acadia AT4. This is an all wheel drive, 3.6 liter V6 engine married to a nine speed automatic transmission. With that combination, you're gonna get about 310 horsepower and 271 pound feet of torque. Um, so a great amount of torque and very smooth delivery of that torque. Uh, you're going to keep the great fuel economy about 21 combined miles per gallon. On the outside here we have some very cool features, but right off the bat, these 17 inch high gloss black painted wheels with our Continental Terrain Contact Altering Tires on there. Now that combination is just very, very beautiful. Kind of fits in with the whole vehicle here. Around to this front fascia, we have our beautiful daytime running LED lights. We'll show you those. Now, in there, LED headlamps, straight down here, LED fog lamps. We do have remote start, so I'll show you those daytime running LED lights. So just two presses of the lock button and the hold of that. Beautiful look on this. Another two holds of... Uh, that button right there, it'll go ahead and turn off. We have a nice, almost gunmetal silver right here on this grill. This one here is finished off in a Summit White. If we get up close here, you can see it's kind of dirty. Um, we take a good step back, and this thing looks like it was almost just washed. And that's one of the great things about these darker metallic colors here in the North Country. They hide the dirt and grime very, very well. Now this one's sitting inside right now, no sun or anything on it, just some good lighting. Uh, and it hides just about every speck of dirt you could possibly imagine. Around to the driver's side here, we have our beautiful uh, high gloss black painted mirror caps, built in blinker indicators, hard AT4 emblem, and a passive cantry system in all four doors, which is super helpful if you wanna keep this key in your pocket. Uh, purse, backpack, whatever it may be. Then you just walk up to the vehicle, you press the button right there, and it'll go ahead and unlock. Right, again, just like that, you close it. Um, now the interior here, very, very beautiful. We will go over all these driver interior uh, features. Well, first, I'm gonna give you a good feel for the room in the back. Got the captain chairs in the second row. Uh, now I'm about six foot three, definitely on the taller side. Don't normally fit in the second rows of vehicles, but I have more than enough room here. I can kick my legs out, sit back, be comfortable. Not limited for room at all. Some cool features in here. I won't turn it all the way on just because we're inside, uh, but you do have heated seats right here. Three different temperature settings, one, two, three. Um, your HVAC vents right here, so obviously your fan speed and temperature settings. Then right down here, type C charger for fast charging, a USB port for even more charging. And if needed, you have a 120 volt wall outlet charger, um, which comes in handy more times than you would think. Down here, nice little slide in cup holder, then disappears if you need that extra feet room or storage right there. Um, but as you notice here, all weather floor liners in all four corners here. Um, so very, very good uh, in the North Country here. You don't want to track in that snow, dirt, sand, salt, whatever it is. Uh, you want to keep this interior clean, and that goes all the way back. And from here, we get this beautiful view here. This is all jet black. We have a beautiful, uh, almost orange stitching there. And we're going to hop around to the way, way back here. Now, six foot three, still fit back here. Not really limited for him at all back here. I can put both feet, kind of scooch right against the wall here. Uh, and I got more than enough room here. Again, not limited. Um, but a ton of room back here. Uh, some comfortability features back here. USB port, you don't have to charge your phone all the way up there. Uh, then you've got your little cup holder, cubby spots back here. Very, very cool. We will hop back around to the front. So right off the bat, we have our 10-way driver's seat adjustments right there. 
Bose premium sound system. Uh, we do have a uh, lift gate control right there, so that'll go ahead and open. And another press of a button right here, that'll go ahead and close. Now that does mean you have your hands-free ability, so you can swing your feet under that and it'll go ahead and open. Um, we will try and show you that later. Let's hop in and show you some of these cool features. Start this for just a second here. Now, right off the bat, we have a beautiful leather wrapped heated steering wheel. Uh, you control that right here with that little button. Adaptive cruise control settings on the left side. Uh, Hands-free audio and phone call settings on the right side. Um, and this is a uh, forward collision alert. So that will uh, detect any collision in front of you. Uh, and then if you don't make any adjustments or uh, press your brakes, steer, um, it will beep at you. It won't slam your brakes on you though. Right down here is your parking brake button. Here's your uh, settings that work with your headlights and cruise control or adaptive cruise control. Um, right over here is your electronic uh, mirror and window adjustments. These are power folding. Right over here, goes right back out. Now these are heated, so as soon as you turn on your rear defroster right there, those will go ahead and melt the ice. Um, we'll go ahead and start this up so I can show you the driver infotainment screen. Nice little uh, digital gauge, or um, digital screen there for you to look at. Um, this does toggle for a few different things, so you've got your, um, obviously, vehicle info right there. Uh, audio settings, your navigation settings, phone call settings, and then uh, just obviously your this screen settings right there um, right here push to start engine very very cool look on that with chrome accent that goes around there and this beautiful radio entertainment screen um, this is fully touchscreen right here you have wireless apple carplay android auto right in there um, you do have a wi-fi hotspot this is all fully customizable you can change all this stuff yourself um, we have your rear climate control, so you can control that from up here. Very user-friendly. You don't have to look for any buttons, um, but the same thing with the climate up here. Um, the vehicle's not on. You do have uh, my GMC app capability, so you can remote start, remote lock, and unlock anywhere in the country. Um, you do have the ability to monitor the vehicle where it is um, off of a uh, map used by Google Maps. Um, good if you want to lend your vehicle to someone. Right down here's those hard controls for this settings or um, this display right down here's your dual zone climate control so obviously temperature speed or a temperature right here uh, and then fan speed right in the middle Lo location settings around there then your electronic precision shifter um, so a lot of people get some stuff misconstrued about this uh this type of shifter here um, anything that's going to engage a new brake you're going to have to pull it here so these aren't uh these aren't um buttons these are pull tabs um, neutral obviously just a little press of a button that's not going to uh, um, cause your transmission to blow up um, but you cannot drop your um, uh, something on the park button while you're driving um, just because it's engineered to not allow you to do that low-level gears right here uh, right down here type C charger for fast charging again USB port and a 9 volt car port for some more charging if needed and right here auto stop and start you can turn that off um, now that'll turn off your vehicle uh, when you come to a, a stop light or red light, whatever it may be. Um, but very cool feature. Traction control right there. Side-by-side uh, -side cup holders, two of the same drinks. Can't get confused. It's just the little things I look forward to. Um, right here is your terrain mode. Uh, so this is probably one of my favorite things about this vehicle here. Uh, you have your two high, um, which is going to give you the best fuel mileage, but then you also have your all wheel drive control. Um, then you have your sport mode and terrain mode, which are like two different tunes for your engine transmission, steering responsiveness, um, and pedal responsiveness. So obviously the, uh, uh sport mode here is going to give you more aggressive, um, shifts. Uh, it's going to give you more pedal responsiveness. So it's uh, more of a responsive feel and it's going to give you less steering responsiveness. Um, so the littlest of the turns there aren't going to, um, uh, give you the biggest uh, turns so right here's your hill descent control now that's kind of like cruise control for going down a very steep hill at slow speeds uh, lane keep assist with lane departure warning that'll do those little minor adjustments for you that keep you in between the white lanes 
And then you have your heated and ventilated seats. So probably uh, my second favorite thing about this vehicle is these ventilated seats. As you can see here, we have our perforated jet black leather, um, AT4 embroidered headrest right there. Um, but it does cool off in the summer if you need it to, uh, to be cool. These seats could get hot, um, but you do have the ability to press that little fan um, and then three different cooling settings. So right here is your leather wrap center console. Very beautiful look on that. Goes pretty deep for a good amount of storage and then a little felt pad at the bottom to keep everything protected. And then one more look at these beautiful seats here. I'm gonna step all the way around to the back now. We do have capless fuel fill right here. No need to get your hands dirty at the gas station. You don't have a cap swinging around scratching up this beautiful paint. Um, very, very cool feature. GM's been doing in a lot of the new vehicles. And this beautiful rear fascia. So we got our dual outlet chrome tip exhaust. Um, one of the things I did forget to go over actually is this dual panel uh, skyscrape sunroof. Now that is two different panels up there. It's called the panoramic skyscrape sunroof. Um, but a very beautiful look. These deep tinted windows in the back here as well. Uh, nice little gun uh, gunmetal silver painted um, bar that goes across these two uh, rear tail lamps. And then again, I'll show you these real quick. Nice little welcome animation, I guess, when you walk up to it or press unlock. This is a power lift gate. So just press of a button there, that'll go ahead and open. All weather floor liners all the way to the back here, because when you drop these seats, you do need some protection on the back of these as well. You don't want to ruin these back seats. Uh, but they drop with just a little uh, thing right down there. That'll drop those front ones. Then these little things are going to drop with just a little pull of that. Um, but very, very useful little liner there. Another press of a button that'll go ahead and drop down. Very beautiful look on this AT4. This is listed at supplier pricing. So a very, very good deal. Almost or over $2,000 off. Um, very, very good deal on our new Acadia here. Now, Rebecca, if you have any more questions about this beautiful AT4, don't hesitate to give me a call, 802-776-5066. Uh, or even better, you could stop by for a test drive at 65 Windcrest Road in Routland, Vermont. And you have a great day, ma'am.